Howdy gang, Trailblazer Tim here again. Today we are out in the forest. We're trying to buy our time between these showers and all the rain that we've had here recently in Florida and stuff. I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite little tarp shelters called the Plow Point. Okay, so here's what we're gonna need. I have my Chill Grill 10 foot Superfly tarp, as well as some paracord. I've got some stakes inside of here. We're ready to go, let's do it. All right, so we're going to start by taking a piece of paracord. We're going to open that up just like so. We've got a tree sitting here at the front end of where my tarp is sitting. What I'm going to do is, is we're going to make a bowline knot. I'll show you how that's done. All right, so we're going to take our piece of paracord. We've got about six inches sitting here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put bite on there. Something kind of like that. See that? We're going to take our tag end, bring it back through the main loop like so, on and around the main line back up through the hole that yeah. we're going to pull that that right there is a bowline knot or a bowline knot now what's going to dictate the height of which i put my paracord at depends on how warm or how cold it is here in central florida it's always hot like i always say so i would generally speaking want to keep my paracord up about head length so I'd have enough airflow going through my tarp while I'm sitting in there and not sit in the sauna. Now in cold weather, you can bring that down further so that way you can try to block some of that wind and create your own little climate to keep a little warmer on those cold nights. Next step is we're gonna take our bowl and knot, as you see, we're gonna go about head height, wrap it around the tree like this, take our lead end, pull it through all the way. Now we're gonna tighten that thing down to the tree. Kind of like that, see that? Okay, so our next step is we're gonna make what's called uh, a modified Marlin spike hitch. So I'm gonna take my lead end away from the tree, come down about four or five inches, make myself a bite, kind of like that, see that? Bring it back towards the lead end, pull that lead end through where my finger's sitting, take your peg, slide it through, like that. Now right there is a Marlin spike hitch. But we're gonna do something just a little bit different to accommodate my shelter. All right, instead of doing it the traditional way, I'm gonna take the front end of my tarp shelter, I'm gonna take this loop, and we're gonna slide it through the end where that is. See that? Now we're gonna take our spike and put it through there. And a little bit something like that. See that? That's what we want. On to the next move. All right, so the next move we're gonna do is I'm gonna take some mistakes and we're gonna go and we're gonna pull at the center point in the back of that tarp out as tight as I can and then stake off the two ends. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna take our front end, take and put one of our little spikes, tent stakes down in here, or you can make it out of eggs, whatever. Try to find the right spot for you. Get that in there. All right, so at this point, we could call it a shelter, but if you notice something, on my tarp, my rain flight, I have a center loophole. What we're gonna do with that is I got another piece of paracord here with another bowling, a carabiner, I'm going to clip that sucker to this, and we're going to take this carabiner and we're going to put it on that loop. We're going to take that paracord, see the tree back here behind me? We're going to tie it off to that. around the tree. Ain't gotta be that fancy. Tie yourself off.
Now at this point in the game, I could take the one or the other side of the front stake, pull it up, if it's nice, and just take and wrap my wind end over top. It creates that much more space inside there. All right, inside, nice. I guarantee you this will keep the rain off. Now I'm gonna show you one other little modification you could do to this uh, tarp shelter uh, to try to keep it a little bit more together. Uh, so let's get back out of here and I'll show you. Now out here on outside of the tarp shelter, you see on this tarp, I've got little tie downs. I could put more stakes down there to try to get this thing closer to the ground or I could take leaves and a bunch of branches and stuff and just stack them around every single side of this. That way it'll help keep the tarp more in place and try to keep that cold air from getting in. Look how much room I have inside the shelter. Everything is buttoned down, you know, and I, putting that little ridge line across the top added a little bit more space as well. I got plenty of room to lay out a, a, another tarp down underneath here and a sleeping bag and all my goodies and stuff. Like I said, along the edges you could stick them down you could put more things down around here to try to keep everything close to the ground but this right here is the plow point tarp shelter Well, that's all the time we got for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. That's how you make a plow point out of a tarp. Nice little tarp shelter. This way I'm using my 10 foot super fly chill grill. And you'll see a lot of this in more of my videos and stuff. This is such a versatile little tarp and everything like that. It didn't take me very much time at all to put this thing up. And I would feel safe if it started raining right now. Thanks so much for hanging out. Until the next time, I'll see you all in the next adventure. Take care.